growing up, I used to be really scared to like things. <laughs> and I think mo the majority of it had to be because of being gay. And, you know, growing up, I used to be ashamed of things that I did, like, I remember when I was little, I would, my little sister, I would dress her up with clothes that she had, and then we would go downstairs and show my parents, and my parents would see her, and they're like, wow, who dressed you up? And then my little sister was like, Riel, and then they looked at me, and just looked at each other, <laughs> and I remember thinking, like, oh my god, am I not supposed, oh god, this is so embarrassing, I'm cringing, blah blah blah. But I think that might have been one of the factors for why I was scared to, you know, put myself out there or let go and explore um, any hobbies or things that I might like because um, I felt restricted because of the whole oh, that's not what guys do, or, you know, you can't do that because, you know, you're a boy, <laughs> and, um, even far back, like, I've seen old videos of, um, when I was in a car seat and my parents were putting on my shoes, and then I think I saw, like, pink shoes, and like, I want to wear that, and then they're like, no, this is yours, that's a girl's shoes, <laughs> and, you know, uh, it's crazy, uh, walk, looking back at that and, you know, but still, I, even back then when my sister, I, I would be, it, it, it'd be even to that point where, um, my sisters would play Hilary Duff, that old, um, CD, and, um, they'd be dancing to it and have to pretend that I was, um, I wasn't like, you know, I, I had to be low-key about that. Like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to look like I liked that album. But that's the point. Like, I used to struggle. I think that might be a part of why I'm kind of struggling figuring out, like, um, my identity. But also, for sure, I am, like, progressing because I'm, you know... I'm in college and right now I'm just letting go and I'm taking any classes that I find that I want to take and is interesting and I'm I already came out to my four siblings three siblings the last few years and my mom and I think my dad knows but it, it's just unspoken but I feel like we're not in this earth for ever. And if we walk around it trying to be something that we're not, and we're not fulfilling what we think our purpose is for our life, like, you know, going with your gut feeling or, you know, truly doing what you feel like you're supposed to do for yourself and this, you know, living here in this world. <laughs> I feel like, what's the point? Like, what's the reason why we are on this planet? I feel like asking that when we're anxious, if we're scared to talk to people or make a move on someone that you like or, you know, if you're still trying to figure out what you want to do, I feel like asking that question just reaches in your gut and is like, Oh, I know that answer, but, like, your brain is like, no, but what's the logic? But, I don't know. But, yeah, I'm 
trying to figure it out <laughs> in this world. But I think it's comforting to think that everyone else is going through that too.